Hey guys, MC Crawl here, and welcome back to my Redstone Rulebook series. Uh, this is Lesson 2, and this is on Redstone Dust and Redstone Wire. Uh, first thing I want to tell you guys is that Redstone uh, Dust comes from Redstone Ore. That's pretty common knowledge stuff right there. Uh, when you place it on the ground, you get something like this, a little cross wire. Uh, when you place one directly uh, adjacent to any of these, it will create the wire. Redstone wire requires a power source. Um, that can be uh, torches, pressure plates, buttons, or levers. Redstone has a powered state and an unpowered state. Uh, for those who understand binary, that would be uh, 1 and 0. Uh, with that, people, you know, you guys have probably seen videos where people have made computers. Well, 1 and 0 is just the basic of the computer. So, uh, when I turn it on, you guys can see that it's, you know, color, and it's got these little, uh, I don't know, animations, I guess. And the farther you go down, the dimmer it gets. Well, that, not only, uh, that that's pretty much just indicating that the that's the length of your wire uh, as you go down you can go up to 15 blocks before you will no longer power in order to get it to go beyond the 15 blocks you will need to have a repeater or you can use an old school repeater uh, which as you can see on the other side here, let me see if I can do this see way down there it is on and it is off the problem with this one, uh, as opposed to this repeater, is that this has a two tick delay, as opposed to this uh, simple repeater being one tick. Uh, and as well that it requires like one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six blocks in order for you to use it. <laughs> Redstone wire can go up and down one block. Uh, but it cannot go up two blocks. As redstone can go up one block, if you were to place a block diagonal from the block that it is uh, resting on, then you will get something like this. It will actually cut the power from uh, from this block to this block. Uh, now this can be used uh, beneficially uh, quite a bit, but there are some times in which you may need to place a block here, although it may not be need to be a powered block. Uh, you still need to cover up your wiring, per se. Uh, so in order to do that, there are plenty of other blocks in Minecraft that allow power to be transferred through. Uh, I am going to show you guys a few here. Here is some half stone blocks, uh, some stairs, and I'm just going to grab another block here and some glass. What these blocks have in common is that they have a transparency in them. As you can see, the wire went directly up. It is still going. I can use that with the stairs or the glass. Now the glass, although it is showing that it's going into here and and this is powered still. This is actually just a graphical error due to the 1.9 patch, as far as I'm aware of, anyways. Yeah, what do I know? And uh, so, and before anyone posts in the comments, double half slabs are considered a full block. Just want to make that clear. Redstone wire has two uh, normal states. Uh, when I say normal, I mean normal is in the most commonly used um, and the two are uh, the cross and the wire now they're very different as how they power a unit uh, now if we use the uh, the wire if I place blocks here and we use the wire it's gonna power the block that it's attached to so it's going directly into that pink block in the front and it is powering that piston. Now, if we needed all three of these to be powered, we wanted that. We want that to be a cross. Uh, there are a couple ways to do this, but the mo the the simplest way is simply putting a repeater in front 
uh, or behind the uh, the the re the redstone that you want to power all of them. So as you can see, all three of them are now powered. Now this can be very useful in a lot of situations, and knowing how to get this cross like this is very important. So this is the most common way, but you can also do this. Oops. If you put a repeater and then you put a block. So let's say you wanted four to be powered. Then you could do something like this. And that will power all four in there. And it's little tricks like that that really help when you're building compact uh, units. Uh, redstone can be used to be to uh, invert torches. As you see right there, in order to invert a torch, it actually needs to be one block directly into it. If I were to put a piece of redstone right here, it would not invert that torch. See how that? Uh, that is because the wiring is breaking off, so it needs one block full, just one line. Or it needs to be the cross which will power all four directions. Uh, now, here is a particular issue where if you wanted to uh, depower that one or uh, to turn it off, turn that torch off, you wouldn't be able to do it right here. Uh, and this is actually a good thing in a lot of ways because sometimes you will be running compact wiring and you don't want that to touch. So, that's very good. And as you can see, it is unaffected. Now, let's say you do want to get that unpowered. What, what would you do? Well, the first thing I would want to do is probably turn this, if I'm limited to this line, keep that in mind. I would first want to turn this into a cross by placing, uh, see, as you see, uh, into a repeater, it wouldn't work like this because the in the rear side of a repeater, it will break into a line. So I would then turn this into a block. All right, and as you guys can see right here, uh, this is a single line, and that is because of this torch being here that this wants to go directly into it. So we simply just place a block on top, and that will break it into the four. Now on this side, as you can see, redstone cannot power through a block. And that is to stop issues like people being able to run infinite lines of, of uh, redstone. So what we have here is we have a repeater. So we just place a repeater on the back side of there. And uh, the repeater will then take the charge from this block and then send it to the next one. And as you can see, Although they are slightly delayed from each other, I can get both of them on and both of them off. And it's little tricks like that, guys, which, what's really going to help you. Alright, guys, so because redstone dust is and wire is pretty much the basis for most uh, redstone uh, contraptions, it was very difficult to find or to design a... Uh, a contraption or or mechanism that was specifically just redstone uh, at least to find one that was unique and creative so instead of just using redstone for an object I decided to to implement a few of what a few things that uh, redstone is good for and a couple using a couple of the designs and and tips that I showed you guys from before so let's go ahead and head over there alright guys so we are about to test this sucker out just kinda give you guys a little overview of it here we go I win. Alright guys, uh, that is the end of the episode. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this series, please do like the video. It lets me know that uh, you guys won more. Alright guys, as always, see you on the flip side.